Hello Leo and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I'm so happy you're here with me today. Today's reading is going to be for the full lunar moon on March 25th um, that is going to be happening very soon. So these are the energies that are coming into play as we move closer to that full moon and the days after. This of course is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave the rest and let's start with cleansing the the cards. So this is for anybody who has Leo in their birth chart. So sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. Thank you again for joining me, Leo. Leo, I really appreciate it. We are going to start with your moon energies. We're going to find out what exactly are the energies as we lead and approach up to this full moon on the 25th, which will be Monday. And the days after, because there is still energies that happen after the full moon that seem to linger. So spirit angels and guides for the beautiful sign Leo. What are these energies? What would you like to share with us? Anything else? Perfect. Oh, some of them want to stick. I'm sorry. Okay, so you got two energies there. So the first one is the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. So you are going to find as we start to move closer to this full moon or even right on the full moon, that anything that you have been finding obstacles or challenges that, you know what, that tough cycle is coming to a close. It's coming to an end. And that's what full moons are all about. It's about putting an end to those chapters of our life that, that need to, you know, that really have really gone through what they need to go through and now it's time to put an end to it so we can begin something new. And then you also got new moon in Pisces. It says meditate and contemplate. So there's going to be a time after this end of a tough cycle where it's time for you to really focus on on you. You need to contemplate things. It's really about thinking about the things, meditating on the things that you want to do as you move forward. Especially if now you've ended this tough cycle, now it's like Take a breather. Don't, don't anticipate having to start up something new right away. Really give some time out to really nurture yourself, your inner being, your mind, your body, your soul, so that you can start really planning and setting into motion the um, positive aspects that you want as we move, you know, move into April. So let's start with the end of a tough cycle. Ooh. So spirit angels and guides. What would you like to tell us for the sign Leo? Uh, this, t the end of a tough cycle approaches. This is nice. We want to see that. Oop. Okay. So you got some beautiful energy here. First of all, you got the King of Wands. We don't go by gender here, so I just read the cards for what they are. King of Wands is definitely your energy, Leo. You are a leader, Leo. You are very charismatic. You are ruled by the sun. You have an inner strength, an inner knowing that just illuminates everything. People that are in your presence are just illuminated by your glow. You have a sense of inner positivity and it's infectious. It really does you know, uh, draw people to you. You are a leader in the sense that you are wanting to move forward with something. You are ready to end those cycles that were challenging and you're ready to move forward. Now is that time. You are taking the action to put a closure to whatever you felt was kind of tough, that was, that was an obstacle for you. You are putting a closure to that. And by doing that, there's choices that you are being, um, you're being, you know, um, they're coming into play for you. These choices, the number six, the lovers. Now for some of you, it could be choice to do with love, but really it's choices with anything in our life. The lovers card is ruled by Gemini. So that might make some, some sense to some of you, Leo, whether you have Gemini in your birth chart or whether or not um, you're dealing with a Leo doesn't necessarily have to be that either. It is the card of choice. Some of you could be feeling empowered to make choices where love is concerned. 
Some of you, it could just be general choices in the sense of which direction or which path you want to go on. You have a sense of inspiration about you right now and you are so motivated and enlightened to put some closures to certain aspects of your life that you feel have kind of run their course. It's now time to put closure to that and it's time to move forward. You're all about forward movement at this time. So again, you are kind of being dealt this this situation where you're going to have to make some choices and you know they're not choices you have to rush to make you really need to meditate and contemplate on those choices because there's no time limit here it's time for you to really assess everything so that you know and feel confident about the direction that you're going as we move past the 25th of march but you also got the Ace of Wands, and this is a whole new beginning opening up for you. Again, you're closing out those tough cycles. You're bringing in something new. There's going to be a choice that you need to make, and you are going to feel really inspired to make it because there's an opportunity that's presenting itself. For some of you, it could be, um, and like again, Aces are about the beginnings of anything. Wands are all that fiery energy of, you know, really feeling confident about the, the direction that you're going. It's something that is so inspiring that you just, you want to take action and you want to move forward with this opportunity. Some of you it could be uh, opportunities in love for sure. It could be choices about love. It could be also choices about you know, a, a business venture, maybe something new is coming into play. Maybe there's somebody presenting something to you that is bringing you this sense of choice where you're going to have to make a decision on which path you want to go. But it's definitely something that you are feeling fully energized with and it's opening up doors to some really amazing um, opportunities for you. Again, by allowing those tough cycles to come to a close, you're opening up these new doors and really there, there might be more than one opportunity that's presenting itself to you. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful time for you. But you need to take some time to meditate and contemplate. Make sure that, you know, you're not rushing into anything. Make sure you're doing it for your highest good. And let's see what else the universe has to say here. Knight of Wands. Okay, you're ready to take action. Knights are all about taking action and you, wands are all fiery signs. Very much can be Leo energy. This is Sagittarius energy. Adventurer, you're ready to lead on this new adventure. You feel a sense of protection. You have your armor on. You're not afraid to move forward. Some of you could be relocating. Some of you could be in the mood. You could be contemplating and meditating on whether or not to move that could be the decision that you need to make with this new opportunity, that it is forward movement, meaning you could actually physically being, being taken to another place where you will begin a whole new adventure. So Knight of Wands, for some of you, oh my goodness, and you got number 10, the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is all about, of course, expansion, good luck. It's ruled by Jupiter, as is Sagittarius. You've got a lot of luck on your side right now. Now is the time to take action. There are some major opportunities coming into play for you as you close out the old cycles around the 25th. And you will start to see that the luck is starting to change. You are starting to really feel this sense of um, things really starting to move into the motion as to which you have been really setting your intentions for. You are taking action with this. I would not be shocked if some of you do go either on a vacation or you relocate with some sort of opportunity that's presenting itself. There's going to be choices that you're going to have to make, but you are in a place of wonderment, of happiness, of, of really uh, really great prosperous luck coming your way and you are ready for this new adventure. You're ready to take it on. This is fantastic. This is absolutely the most beautiful energies I've seen here. So Leo, let's get into uh, the Archangel Power Tarot cards and let's find out how we can tie the reading together and also find out really about, you know, what the angels would like to share as we close out the reading. What I do want to make uh, you aware of is that with this uh, full moon that's coming into play on the 25th, it is in the sign Libra. 
Libra is all about the, uh, they rule the seventh house, which is your relationships and your partnerships. So again, you know, it's all about really feeling these emotional, it's, it's almost really about feeling emotional balance. It's starting to feel balance and equality and fairness. And I really feel like that's coming into play for you. And partnerships and relationships, you know, they, they, they don't always have to be external partnerships. It can be partnerships you have with yourself, with your inner being, with your, um, with your spiritual team as well. Um, but there is definitely some excitement happening here. For some of you, it could actually be relationships with that six, uh, the lovers coming into play and opportunities really opening the doors for you. But others of you, it could be decisions really on um, opportunities that are bringing you, uh, really bringing you out into the world even more, bringing you into the forefront. And some of you really are in, in a decision of having to decide whether you want to relocate or definitely do some travel. There's definitely some travel. I see adventure coming into play for you, Leo. So let's find out. Uh, the spirit angels and guides, what would you like to, show? Oh my goodness, you got the wheel again. They don't have to tell you anything else because you got the wheel of fortune. Wow. Okay, Leo, number 10, Archangel Jeremiah. Jeremiah. I don't know if I said that right. New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. You got the wheel twice. The wheel is definitely turning in your favor. You are closing out chapters of your life and you are beginning a completely new beginning. And I think it's going to be something that's quite drastic. I think it's going to be something that is really beyond the levels of excitement. I think it's going to be something that you have really been manifesting for yourself for quite some time. Wow, Leo, you don't need a lot of cards because the cards say it all in what, what, has been, what has been laid out in front of us here. This is exactly the messages that the, your angel and spirit guides are trying to reiterate to you. Beautiful energies. So now to close out your reading, let's get your angel number and the message that's linked to it, Leo. I'm going to go. Wow, you just got so much going on. Yeah, you only need the one. Four, 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 four. Very important to watch out for that angel number. It is the angel number that shows you that your, your angels are watching over you and that they are trying to send messages you, to you. This is all about an endeavor. Your angels encourage you to devote yourself to your endeavors. Keep your feet firmly on the ground and put in hard work. You will achieve your goal, goals slowly but surely. Remember that you are laying the groundwork for your dream to come true. Have faith and be patient. So even though there's lots of things coming into play for you, and there's a lot of action in the sense of that you are very inspired. Internally, your emotions are running high and you are very excited about the opportunities that are coming into play for you. But what your angels are trying to say is that it's okay to have faith and be a little patient because you are putting those, you are firmly putting your feet on the ground to really build something strong. This is something that you're building a lot of strength with and it's only going to continue to go up from there. Wow, fantastic energy. Leo, I hope that you found parts of this small little message um, resonate with you. Again, this is for the new, the uh, full moon that's happening in Libra on March 25th. If you do find parts of this resonate, please leave comments. I love to read them. Please also consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. It does cost nothing to subscribe to my channel and I do appreciate the support. Thanks again and until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.